Hey, this is Brett from Rock City Studios. We're out here in Ventura County, California with the band Twin Sun. Say hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey. Rock City Studios, yeah! Well, let's go around the room here and introduce yourselves to everybody. I'm Max. I play drums. I'm Oscar. I play uh, the lute and mandolin and charango, I guess, and guitar and anything in the lute family, really. He keeps going, right? Yeah, uh, it's, yeah he it's, does. It's kind oh, of and I play piano, so I, I do too. I keep going. Now, what got you guys into like your instruments? Like, What made you play yours, and what made you play your 30 instruments? <laughs> so a friend of mine randomly asked me if I played drums, and I was like, I guess. You I lied know. and said yes. Yeah, huh? I did. Totally. I, did. Yeah. I really did. Anybody and can do it. It's a caveman thing. Oh, so you're, it's, yeah. you don't need any intelligence Except for me. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I didn't want to impose. And so, yeah, so I like jumped in the, jumped on the set and like actually like held it down. Like it was kind of cool. I was like, oh my God, this is what I should be doing for the rest of my life. So it was like that thing that you were naturally good at that you didn't have to study for. Yeah, I really And didn't. you were like, ah, oh, damn it, here we go. Well, but what's great about that is that my laziness has continued on so that I've just watched like YouTube videos. I've been subscribed to these like free drum teachers and I get little like bits and pieces of like things that you should do. And then I'm like, well, whatever, I'll do the rest wrong. I don't care. Right. So you <laughs> absorb the knowledge that yeah. you feel like you want to absorb. Yeah. I'm right. Very, yeah. And selective. totally ignore everything else oh, yeah. that could oh, be yeah. maybe beneficial down the road. Just I completely ignore. It all doesn't of that. even exist. Yeah, no, yeah, it definitely like it. doesn't. Like I'll look at like, oh, these Afro beats are super cool. Um, whatever. I yeah, I no. when, I, when I'm behind the kid, I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and what about you, man? When I started playing guitar. Yep. And I, all the other ones. Uh, <laughs> what made my, you do it? My louting. Um, I've always kind of just did it instead of like the my responsibilities. So I would I would have something that was assigned to me like homework or school or something like that and I just completely ignore that. Yeah. yeah, so what you did, which is sort of like his style, which is amazing why you guys are in the yeah. same band. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy is, actually, yeah. Yeah, is is you went, Hey, I have to do this homework right now. This is something I have to do. But instead, let me play this guitar so that way I can procrastinate on doing the homework and play a little bit more guitar. I yeah, and I still do it. I still okay. I still do that as much as possible. Y you know what I like though? You guys are consistent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We 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 figured out one thing that we can be consistent about. Totally. <laughs> just doing this just to hang out and, yeah. and that totally kill, makes kill, sense. Kill some time. <laughs> no. And what's the best way maybe that describes a twin son? Like, what's the genre that you guys are? What um, are some bands maybe that other people can think of when they hear you loud, guys? Loud. And that's our style. Loud? The way I think of it is, I just talked about them on the right here. Combination of YMCA and Zeppelin. <laughs> that's something I've never heard before. Some, some ABBA in there. Yeah, definitely some ABBA. Okay. Um, Phil Collins, maybe. Um, yeah. Well, I hate him, but yeah. Well, that's the point, I <laughs> think. Yeah, oh, okay. I think it's like, I think it's like a reverse influence. For us. Uh, I see. Where was the very first place you guys played at? The, you, give me your very first gig. It might have been in a separate oh, bands man. or oh, okay, yeah, the, your yeah. very, very first time that you got up on a stage. Probably in that cantina on Tatooine in the 60s. That's probably the last time, th that fir the first time that I really stood out and I was like, wow, this is, this is some, some hopping music. Right? That's where we met, actually. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Definitely didn't meet there. Yeah. <laughs> How was Jabba doing? Jabba wasn't actually involved at that time. I think we had another hut. Okay. Oh, ordeal. Hut. Yeah, it was it was it was it was, it was a weird, weird guy, you know. He had <laughs> down to earth. <laughs> yeah, he Jabba Jabba was like egotistical, and he had this he had this weird complex thing. But the guy before him, Jabbo, was Jabbo was was a cool yeah. guy. And um, Jabbo. 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 I think he was French. Yeah. Um, I used to play cello. And, and my dad taught me, like, not really teach me, but, like, I went to this really rig rigid Catholic middle school. Rigged. And they were <laughs> rigged. It, the system's rigged. Then the Freudian slip comes out. Man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my mom. No. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, like, taught how to sing, like, choir style. Um, I don't know what that's called. Like, not it's not choir style. I got you. Like, yeah. yeah. And so, like, my first thing was this, like, camp 
for string instruments. Okay. And I was I was like third row for cellos. Like I wasn't I wasn't good enough to be even in second. No, you but, were that like that football player that they felt bad for. Um, yes. and they didn't want to make the water boy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. But they were because like, I had a little bit more talent than the yeah. water boy. Yeah. They saw that. They just saw a little bit of totally. more talent. Um, they're probably less actually. Water boys are pretty hardcore. I mean, they run. <laughs> yeah. They seem like they're hustling. <laughs> I think they run. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like to put in that perspective, I would be like, well, I completely forgot anyway. Yeah. So like, but you climbed up oh, that ladder no. real quick, right? Yeah. No, oh. <laughs> I was like, I would be like the person at a football, at like a football player uh -huh. who didn't bring their own equipment. The teacher had to give me his cello. You didn't get your own cello? No, I, I was supposed to have my own at that time. And I was like, mm, I've just been using all my. Did you just put show. like the, the puppy dog eyes on and, and go, excuse me, teach. I sometimes <laughs> do that on accident. Like right. I'll have the light go like. <laughs> he, he's still the same way. He still uses my cello every time he comes oh, over. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I still have to lend it to him. I like, I like picking at his strings. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you guys come up with your band name? Funny story. Okay. I, I like think funny. it's funny. I think it's funny. It's funny to me. Um, uh, I can't think of it. No, I can't. So, like, we were like, all right, we w I wanted Sun Giant because that's my favorite EP like or album of Fleet Foxes. It's an incredible album. Just everyone go listen to that album not right now but afterwards um and like i was like all right let's do sun giant and he was like hell yeah let's do sun giant and then we saw that someone like two other people two other bands had it but like all right but i don't understand how that could stop you i mean like you were the third string cellist <laughs> you might as well keep this stuff so consistent i'm a contender <laughs> <laughs> oh wait i mean it was it was the bands that but also, um, Sun Giant also always kind of pushed me into thinking about Sanjaya. Remember that American Idol guy I totally with, remember with the that. hair? I totally remember. And, that. I, oh, and so can you no, please no, no. go as him for Halloween? Yeah, see, <laughs> I knew that would I knew that would happen. It happens every time Sanjaya comes up. Like people were like, "Oh, you kind of look like Sanjaya," but like I'm not like Sanjaya. Uh, a very important question that I love to ask people is, um, if you had to choose a favorite baby animal. What would your favorite baby animal be? Think about that. Hard. Um, that's a hard question. Baby animals are just like weaker versions of adult animals. <laughs> so this guy has a heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Probably something cool like a rhino or a bear, a gorilla, a baby gorilla. A baby gorilla. The All most right, fierce, the most fearsome baby animal I can think of. Okay. Good job, uh, Sanji. That was mine. <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna be stuck on this one for a while. I really like. I have a problem with like thinking on the spot. Like I'd be a horrible, like improvised like person. Oh, I mean, man, I'm, I'm like, making good. this stuff as I go. Oh, that's perfect. Isn't well, it like, weird? I'm good improvising on drums, but like I'm horrible everywhere else. Like, how are you on the cello at improvising? Oh, I think I would be pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, I don't want to be cocky, but yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'd go for like, you know, what's really cute is like a little like. Uh, like a baby bird but like after the stage of ugliness and i like that Ooh, they are weak that's hey i had a baby hummingbird that i rescued for a while oh, that's, that's so dope. i thought that it was going to be the greatest thing ever because of the fact that i was like dude if i train this thing it could be my full-on air support the first for person everything that yeah. they see is you. i mean imagine this right you're you're you know i'm working the sound or i'm doing something over here right somebody says something weird the hummingbird bzz, in the eye those right, yeah. those things are you sharp. Like the dude in Garden of the Galaxy, where he like, <laughs> yeah, exactly, like without an arrow, but yeah. with a hummingbird. Yeah, with a hummingbird. Um, do you guys have anything coming up? Do you have any shows coming up? Do you have uh, any albums coming up or songs or anything like that? We where have, can people find more about you guys? We have a show coming up uh, at Rock City Studios on the twenty. Oh my gosh, over here! No Whoa. way! Yeah. Whoa! It's Whoa. Uh, we're gonna be. That's why you guys are here. <laughs> Mojave Days and uh, Black Jags and. Uh, some others, uh, Sober Moms and Maudlin, I think, are playing. Very cool. And when is it? Um, the 29th of October. Very cool. And we're making, like, I'm starting to, like, write more music now. Like, I can do melodies on piano, and he's helping me, like, actually, like, utilize what little talent I have. And so, like, we're, like, we're starting to just write a whole bunch more music to formulate an album. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, Any time when you're thinking it might be released or anything? So Whenever you're done, I don't want to put out a a time limit. <laughs> but, but next week, maybe yeah, I'd say like I'd say a month. 
No, guys, um, thank you guys so much for coming down here and doing this interview. It's Honestly, it's been a real fun time doing it with you guys. Yeah, thank you. This that really sounded fun. terrible. Yeah. Um, Thanks. <laughs> no, no problem. Um, if there's anything else that you guys would like the world to know about you guys, um, please let everybody know. He can. I like to do shout outs to other bands. Oh, do um, shout outs to other bands. To two brothers band. Oh, uh, Max. An interview here. Yeah, Max. Uh, I, I, I love worked those guys. with Max at Winco. <laughs> that dude is the coolest. I yeah. love him. And I think all we, of those guys have the just huge hearts. They do. Yeah, they huge really hearts. Do. Yeah. Um, I jammed with Max once, uh -huh. and like I think I was so not at his level. That he was super nice about it. Like, he only can be nice. Like, yeah. yeah, man, we'll jam again. And never jammed again. And because we're busy. But, like, yeah, like, he's just beyond me. So, hold on one second. Max, good call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because now I'm working with this guy. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Ha! Um, yeah, you so still won, Max. Man. Michael Kiwanuka. Benjamin Booker. Um, that's it. <laughs> I, I don't actually know anyone. So, uh, just us. yeah, just us. Um, okay. Max sells himself short. He's the best drummer I've ever I've ever even met. He's even heard. Um, You're really nice. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I am really nice. I'm really lucky. Yeah, he is. <laughs> You're sort of lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, other other than that, yeah, I don't really know anyone else. Um, did all what he said to all those other bands. I'll meet you later, and uh, we'll jam. In and Mr. Gnome. I've been listening to, I can't remember the album, but it, the album starts with Eight the Sun. That's an incredible album. Well, I'll have I'll to check it out. Guys anytime. Oh, yeah, well, oh, I, would I would pee my pants. So that would be the band. If you can open up for anybody right now, that would be the band? Right now, Mr. Gnome. Mr. Oh, Gnome, hands, both, hands both of you guys? I mean, yeah, for me, it's really anyone, but okay. Mr. Gnome's in that category. Abba. Abba. <laughs> 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 who work for Abba. Phil Collins. Between the two. Between the, two. Um, yeah. the folks who did YMCA. The village people. Don't, don't cover it, don't cover it. Am I covering it? <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry about that one. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, no, it's okay. Just <laughs> ma just make the long, awkward silence longer. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Hold yeah, on. I don't want to end it on a rant about Phil Collins, but, but he will. Guys, thanks again. My name is Brett from Rock City Studios. Twin Sun, check him out. Woo! Woohoo! Later, guys.